I'm a little bit concerned to cross over this. I really don't need to get in trouble tonight and get arrested. Um, I'm gonna have to look for a different place. I was gonna be back there. So Google Maps, you failed me. So it's just after three o'clock in the morning and it took everything in me to get out of bed today. But I'm super excited because I'm going to be traveling to a local reservoir and I'm going to be checking out Comet Neowise. So Comet Neowise, for those of you who haven't been paying attention, is a comet that is visible from here in the Northern Hemisphere right now. And you need to get up super early. It comes up before the sun rises I can't spend too much time talking here because I'm already running late. Tonight, I'm going to be packing just my camera and a tripod, and I've got all of my lenses with me because I've never done this before, and I honestly, I don't know how well um, I'm prepared. I'm going to do my best with the gear that I have and hopefully get a picture of a comet tonight. Hopefully, you guys are excited, and thanks for coming with me on my journey. I'm so glad that this is a morning comet. I don't know what it is about waking up in the morning to go see the universe, but it's inspiring to my day. So I have a bit of a problem. I did not know that this was a restricted area and they have it pretty well established that I cannot be here. And now what do I do? So I'm a little bit concerned to cross over this. I really don't need to get in trouble tonight and get arrested. Um, I'm gonna have to look for a different place I was gonna be back there. So Google Maps, you failed me. So I figured while I was here guys that I would at least show you where I'm at. Um, so I'm at a local reservoir. You look down, I believe this might even be the pump house. Um, you can hear it maybe, hard to see. This is the bridge that I'm crossing over. Check both ways. And on the opposite side of the bridge, the spillway is right below us. You can hear it maybe, but you can't see it. This is pretty dark. Got the moon up there, nice and bright. Probably can't see it with this lens, but that's because it's literally this dark here. It's a good location. Now I need to find a spot to set up. Oh my gosh, I can see it. Guys, I can see it right now with my naked eye. I am stoked. I'm literally getting chills. All right, I gotta go set up. All right, so I found a place to park my car, but uh, unfortunately there's gonna be a little bit of a hike here, open horizons. There's a rocky shoreline along the reservoir that I'm going to be able to set up one and I just need to kind of make my way over there and there should be no obstructions straight to the horizon. So where I'm able to park here is a bunch of trees that are overhanging the lake. So um, yeah, here we go. All right, so I've decided to switch over to a landscape view 
As you can see behind me, the camera is taking shots towards the sun. And so I'm battling as the sun is rising, I'm having to compete with this in terms of my settings on the camera. So I'm definitely in manual mode here. Um, I'm working with ISO settings. I'm working with my exposure time and I'm working with my uh, overall aperture. So um, I've got a very wide lens, uh, 17 millimeters. I'm shooting two seconds long for my exposure time. I've got my ISO settings to 1600, which I found were pretty good for this early morning hour. And remember I'm on a crop sensor, so um, this is actually a crop lens. It's, it's a true 17 millimeter lens. So I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Once again, I'm taking 90 shots now in landscape mode. So I'm feeling pretty defeated here. I noticed that at the end of my imaging run that my camera was set to a medium JPEG format, which is weird because I've never used that setting ever before. And I needed to be in like large JPEG plus raw and or just raw files. And now that entire night of imaging is wasted. But rather than get beside myself and all upset, uh, I wanted to share with you guys, like this is part of the process and I make mistakes too and it's okay. And what has it done for me? It's inspired me to come out again. And I have to come out soon, right? Because it's a comet. So I'll be definitely remembering to set my camera to the raw files this time. Um, hopefully the weather cooperates and I don't miss this. I am a little concerned about that, but I've seen a few other days in the forecast coming up and I'm off right now from work, so I might as well take advantage of it. So yeah, frustrating, but at the same time, I think you guys deserve to know that I'm not perfect and I make mistakes. So there's that. Mm -hmm.